and we had to still figure out what that looked like. Um, for many, it was super easy. We just got back into a routine and we started and moved forward. And some of us needed to remember what it meant to be able to just sit through a whole class period for an hour or seven. Some of us are still working on how do we sit still for that long. Some of us adults still need to figure that out too. But throughout all of it, we worked really hard. We did a lot of learning. We set a lot of goals. Um, and the tendency for our fifth graders was to set goals that were really, really high. And they really pushed hard for reaching those, which is super challenging for them to be able to try and reach those goals. Means that some of the goals we didn't reach, many of them we did. Um, but um, as many of the kids who spent any time in my classroom would tell you, that even if you don't reach the goals, Making mistakes is proof that we're trying. <laughs> and each of the kiddos had obstacles to overcome with it. Um, but you did it. Each and every one of you did it. And bit by bit, and day, one day at a time, and you all succeeded in one way or another. Um, maybe that was making growth in your reading, or math, or maybe 20 points of growth on a math testing score or becoming more confident to speak in front of your classmates, or making it into the honors class at Dunstan, or learning how to be in control of yourself even when you're frustrated, um, or being kind to others even when that's a difficult thing to do. Um, but every single one of the kids did meet at least one of their goals, in fact, several met many of them, because here we are today, getting ready to move on to sixth grade. So, a few celebration. Parents, I challenge you to keep challenging and encouraging your children because as they mature, they're going to continue to make that incredible growth and continue to make you proud. And you need to let them know that you're proud because a little bit of pride goes a super long way. Um, and now here we are, the big kids of the school, Almost done at this school. Getting ready to do the little again, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> um, but make every second count. And to all of our fifth grade Falcons, always keep soaring. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Patricia Lopez. I'm the Assistant Principal of the Year at Don't And those of you that do know, I'm a crier. So I'm going to try and get through this, the pomp and circumstance always gets me going. <laughs> so I'm not even going to look at my fifth graders. So <laughs> fifth graders, the last time you hear me say that. <laughs> get you all going so that I'm not the only one. You have a bright future ahead of you. You're ready to spread your wings and go to middle school. <coughs> Show them what you know. Learn a lot more. You will expand your circle of friends and you will meet a lot more teachers that are ready to support you the way that your foot goes. <laughs> teachers are always here for you. Don't forget us. We're here to support you in whatever you need to be. Right, us, stop. <laughs> oh, you've grown so much this year and you are ready for the new challenges. So face them head on, know that you're ready. Use the grit that you have learned and practiced so much at Cook Hills, and you're going to go to your middle school and make us proud. Most of you have done since, and maybe far I can't look at the kids anymore. To quote Albert Einstein, who probably never cried, never give up on what you really want to do. The person with big dreams is more powerful than those with all the past. Unless you want to be on Jeopardy, keep learning and memorizing the steps. <laughs> Otherwise, three big. Some of the jobs that are, you all are going to end up doing and changing the world with haven't even been created yet. So go out and know you can do anything you want to do. We will miss you, but as you know, once a falcon, always a falcon. <laughs> we are still here to support you and want to hear from you and hear about all your accomplishments. 
Think of how fast the last seven years went. The next seven are going to go even faster. Enjoy every moment of them, because you can't go back. You can come back and visit, but you can't come back to fifth grade. <laughs> I wouldn't be here to preach anyway, so. Go and make Foothills proud. I know when we hear about you in the future, our, we'll be beaming with pride. Come back, tell us all about it, and come back when you need support. We are here for you. So, Mr. Shapiro, Ms. Anderson, Ms. McKibben. Oh, you were first. Oh, they're not ready yet. <laughs>
2016. Um, you know, 2016, I became Crystal Pringles. You guys were kindergartners. Um, and the sixth graders, because we had K through six back then, the sixth graders were the first became principal. They're going to graduate next year, high school. So I'll be able to see them walk across the stage at Red Rocks. So that's another thing we're really looking forward to. Um, this class I'll have to wait to 2029 um, for that to happen, and I'm looking forward to watching you walk across the stage as well. Uh, I will just be turning 50 when that happens. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, they were, yeah, they were kindergartners when I first got here, and, and just what Mr. Kim said, I'll just add this on because I'm so proud of you. Is um, when I was interviewing for the job. The staff community, what they wanted, believe it or not, was to really get a handle on the discipline issues at Fitness. And so this class, as fifth graders, we're always going to have uh, students make poor choices, part of growing up, right? But even in our last survey, uh, compared to the district, even with our the staff and parents and everything as far as they, how they felt about the discipline issues, it was 93% approval rate, uh, rating, which is incredible. Uh, that we have in the control we do. And this class is a huge part of that. We see the leaders in the building. That's why if you've ever been to our morning meeting, there are the students that are sitting on chairs because the other students look up to them, um, preschool included. And this class has done an incredible job. Um, and so I just want to talk about a couple of things. So this, this class was the first to do our creed. It's kindergartners, right? And so I always wanted to know, like, when we, from kindergarten on up, when we had some of the things we did with our culture, with the creed, and more meetings, and so on, what really was the effect of that? And this class is the living proof um, because it's such a kind class. And I'll talk about a couple of things that they do. Um, but really, so proud of you. Um, such role models for everyone in our school. So, more meetings, uh, the foodies helping with our foodies uh, program, trash pickup this class is with this first year. And they volunteered to do this, to help our FM out, uh, Christine, right? Uh, that they volunteered to take part of their research time to go around all the classrooms to help with trash and putting fun in their facility. Um, can you raise your hands if you helped out with that? Look at that. Okay. Can you raise your hand if you're on the Dean team? Okay, the Dean team, again, uh, being role models, uh, students, and all kinds of things, everyone. Um, and so, I also want to say, if you are in any after school clubs and activities, or girls on the run, anything like that, could you raise your hands, please? Uh, so our innovation block, all kinds of things we see in this for the years uh, have been really busy. Uh, so also surprising, surprising to hear because the first year, um, and I'm going to go through my little history here, I dressed up as a princess. <laughs> and you have to still do it. Okay, after that shot. Do uh, you remember that? So it's a princess, then Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Okay. And, uh, and then I was Shrek. Uh, the mayor of the Munchkin City, and everybody thought it was a rubber kind. So. Uh, Kiss, of course, I had to dress up this. Yes. And then our uh, last year, Ricky Mouse, of course. Uh, and they were always great, great spirit that, and they, you know, it's cool because you dress up and then these fifth graders go right back to me and get kindergartners and having fun with that. Uh, and so, then uh, March 13th, 2020, right, as Ms. Sanders and, and Ms. Sarah talked about, uh, this class, there were third graders in Manhattan in March. So they, although I'm sure it wasn't a huge disappointment to them, they didn't, the CMAS was canceled for that year. Uh, but the thing is, okay, that is 
David, that we use, that's just a, a normal thing that, you know, as far as we put the test takers, it's such a critical year. And these students were, of course, sent home, had to do remote learning, in-person learning, synchronous, asynchronous, um, and it's third years. And then going into the fourth grade year, and then, of course, even the fifth grade year. Uh, but they did it. And we always talk about perseverance in the first year. They showed growth this year, which is amazing. And again, the social emotional skills, right? Not being with their friends because they were at home and so on. All that stuff, they persevered. And you know, look at them today. Okay? Uh, just absolutely amazing. Uh, and so I know that they're going to be, they're already successful, but I'm really looking forward to, of course, hearing about all the successes in middle school and high school and honestly beyond. Um, and so, again, fifth grade class, extremely, extremely proud of you. We're going to miss you. You're always welcome here. You'll always be part of our Fiddler's family. Okay? And, um, and so, can we give uh, just a huge round of applause for fifth grade? And of course, they're also great singers. Uh, we can shout it out loud, we can crazy train, we can lead our family, we can we will rock you, right? And they're all just great spirits, uh, perfect harmony, perfect rhythm. Uh, and so again, how cool is that, right? All right, so with that said, let's, uh, I'll turn it back over to Mrs. Anderson, and let's, let's get to the really important part here where we can give you your diplomas and uh, your right passage here, okay? We are going to go ahead and ask Mrs. Anderson's class to please stand up. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise in the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.
Pedro Oblin.
So we made a little memory ball, they're called balloon balls, and each of the 12 different sections on them has a different important memory from either fifth grade or from their elementary school time. So from friends to favorite subjects to special things that just fifth graders got to do. Um, and they wrote about it and they colored them and designed them and put them all together to make kind of a soccer ball sort of shape for the most part. All right, so fifth grade, you gotta, if you, if you look, you'll see all the, the phone cameras, they're ready. Uh, so, here's the thing, uh, this is a, an important moment for you and for families. So, let's give them a second to get all the cell phones ready. Okay? And turn around, fifth graders, so everybody can see you. And hold on, I have to get an iPhone ready. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. On the count of three, on the count of three, uh, we will, at the same time, we can do this. We will say, go Falcons, and we will throw the balls up in the air on the count of three. Is everybody ready for that? Alright, here we go. It's a lot of pressure on me. All right. Selfish so Okay. No, it's okay. All right. One, two, three. Oh, right. All 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 right. Uh, the last thing is I'm going to see what we're going to do. So she's going to tell you the answer to your questions. And so she's going to tell you what we're going to do next. Again, congratulations to Craig. We're going to give another huge round of applause. Go Falcons! Thank you.